Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Jennifer, Professional Psychic, and in this video we are going to be channeling a message from your inner child. If you're interested in that, stick around. If you like my videos on YouTube, then I think you would enjoy a private reading with me even more. And you can find the link to that in the description box below. Alright you guys, so today we are going to be channeling an ever important message from our inner child. A lot of times we tend to ignore and neglect our inner child and that's not a good thing because a child that's neglected becomes sad, scared, anxious, and upset. And then that creates adults that are sad, scared, anxious, and upset. So let's see what messages your inner children have for you today. As you can tell, I used a bunch of whimsical little placeholders to get you guys in the mood. So let's get started. Focus on the three decks in front of you and choose the one that you feel the most connected to. I can't wait to see what your kids have to say. All right, you guys, let's start with deck number one. I'm going to move these aside. Oh, by the way, everything is going to be time stamped for you little kiddos. Uh, BT dubs, this is not a video for kids. Um, just saying YouTube. So this is a little yellow seal. Isn't he freaking adorable? Let's see what your inner child has to say to you. Whoa, <laughs> that was not a good start. Okay, so basically here's what I want to say. Your inner child is feeling that you are in a lot of turmoil and upset. You hold on to anger. You hold on to negativity. If somebody stepped on your foot three months ago, you are still thinking about it. If somebody hurt your feelings five years ago, you're still thinking about it. And you're not, you're not using your time and energy on this planet to have fun, to enjoy, to be grateful, to, to love, and to feel appreciation. I feel like you tend to focus so much on whatever is bothering you at the moment or even whatever is bothering you over the past several years. I feel like you need to be willing to let go and be willing to forgive. And that doesn't mean you have to have the person in your life. It doesn't mean you have to accept them as a friend or whatever. You can let go and, and disconnect from them. But don't hold on to the anger. Don't hold on to the sadness. Your child is just dying to have fun and play and create and explore and you're just keeping them in prison <laughs> it's not good look at this right here relax breathe um spend some time in nature explore have fun look for bugs look at leaves enjoy your life look at the clouds you need to focus on where you're going not where you've been where you've been focus on your future focus on what you want instead of what's in front of you. If you start to change your mindset, you'll be amazed at how much things improve around you. Um, really, I know you've been through a lot. You know, everybody has, and you may be more than most. So I'm not trying to take that away from you, but focusing on where you've been is not going to help you improve your life. All right, guys, that is deck number one. Let's see deck number two. Deck number two I'm excited about because we have this adorable little rainbow pendulum. So, so, so pretty. I really love it. And let's see what your inner child wants you to know. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> this is kind of a funny one. I feel like your inner child wants more structure and that's kind of funny, but you know, the truth is kids love to play and they love to have fun and all that jazz and it's good for them, but they also need structure and stability. And I feel like we need to have a balance of having our head in the clouds and our feet on the ground. We need to have a balance of having you know dreams and, and whimsy and fun, but also stability. And I feel like you're stuck. I feel like you've had some failures in your past and you've been afraid to try again. You've been afraid to take on things. You've been afraid to go forward because of those failures. And you're kind of stuck in a rut because of that. I feel like it's easier for you to give up. It's easier for you to just go through the day and, and kind of not, you know, try to achieve. It's easy for you to just be in the situation that you're in. And I feel like you're robbing yourself of many wonderful opportunities for your future. You're robbing yourself of the true happiness that you can have. And I feel your inner child really wants you to start focusing more on being a little more structured, trying to break some bad habits. You know, your inner child 
wants to feel safe and secure. As much as they want to have fun and whimsy and everything, they also want to feel safe and secure. They also want to feel like they're with a an adult that can take care of them and that you know be responsible. And I feel like you're just not taking care of yourself well, whether it's because of bad habits or just not trying to focus on your life and focus on where you need to go. This is definitely something that you need to start doing. So start breaking some bad habits, start putting some new structure into your life. You know, whether you want to wake up the same time every day, or maybe think about giving up one negative thing in your life, small changes, don't go crazy. Because when you make huge, big changes, you never keep them, you never keep to them. And I'm not just talking about you specifically, deck number two, I'm talking about all of us. Start small, small changes create big changes. So just put some more structure in your life and treat yourself better. You don't treat yourself the way that you should. That makes sense. All right. Deck number three with this beautiful little fat little pink seal. Look at you. So cute. These are actually erasers. I got these as a gift, like, I don't know, at least 10 years ago and they just stuck around and I just really love them. <laughs> I never used them, obviously. I couldn't bear it. So let's see what you have deck number three. All right, deck number three. You have a very bored inner child. <laughs> I feel like your inner child wants you to have fun and play, you know, explore, learn new things, be stimulated. And this is so good, not only for your inner child, but also for you as well. The thing that keeps our minds sharp and keeps us focused on a positive future is learning and growing and, you know, start to learn new things, whether you want to learn a new language, whether you want to learn a new skill, whether you want to take a new class, like a fitness class. I know we're doing COVID right now, so it's not as easy as it normally would be, but we do have online lessons and YouTube is a great source for learning almost anything. Um, but I feel like your, your, your inner child is, is craving, you know, stimulation, excitement, and something new. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching my videos. I have live shows every week, so look for them. Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you get notified and so you don't miss my live broadcast. They're a lot of fun. I give away free readings. We do lots of fun games, pick a cards, and uh, I think that you'll enjoy them. So come on and check them out. Uh, other than that, if you like this video, give me a big old thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.